Sitting can be a nice break from a busy day, but considering many of us spend our entire workday at a desk, followed by downtime in front of a computer or TV, one has to wonder, how exactly is sitting affecting your body? The answer is pretty shocking. As soon as you sit down, the electrical activity in your muscles drops significantly and your calorie burning rate plummets to about one calorie per minute. After only three hours of sitting, there's a 50% drop in artery dilation and as a result, a decrease in blood flow. Sit for 24 hours straight and the insulin in your body loses nearly 40% of its ability to uptake glucose, which increases the risk of type two diabetes. And things only get worse from here. After two weeks of sitting for more than six Six hours a day, LDL cholesterol, sometimes called the bad cholesterol, is increased along with other fatty molecules putting you at a greater risk for weight gain. On top of this, the enzymes responsible for breaking down fats plunge, and because of the prolonged inactivity, your muscles begin to break down. Gradually, their contractions become weaker, ultimately impeding the pumping of blood to your heart. Even if you work out regularly, the minute you stop moving, the deterioration begins again in proportion to your sitting time. And that's the scary part. Research shows that just as exercise doesn't necessarily counteract the negative effects of something like smoking, it doesn't counteract the negative effects of too much sitting. A year later, the effects begin to compound and some studies in women have even shown a decrease in bone mass upwards of 1% every year. Think your brain is more important than your body? Physical movement not only helps pump blood and oxygen to the brain, but also sends mood-enhancing hormones. When we don't move, brain function begins to slow down. Perhaps the most shocking is that after 10 to 20 years of sitting for six hours a day, you may have lost up to seven quality-adjusted life years. That is, years without medical issues or death. For example, the risk of dying from heart disease increases by 64%, while the risk of prostate or breast cancer increases by 30%. If everybody sat for no more than three hours a day, it's estimated that the average lifespan would rise by two years. Simply put, our bodies aren't designed to be sedentary, and sitting for eight hours a day at work is just as bad for those who go home and watch TV as it is for those who hit up the gym. It can literally be a lethal activity. So what's the best solution? We put together a list of the top tips to fight the sitting epidemic, no matter how lazy you are, using scientific research and clever tricks to make it easy. There's a link in the description to that video, which you should definitely watch. Special thanks to Audible.com for supporting this episode and giving you a free audiobook of your choice at audible.com slash ASAP. Audible is the leading provider of audiobooks with over 150,000 downloadable titles across all types of literature. We recommend the book The Selfish Gene by Richard Dawkins, which contains some amazing insights into evolution and the biological world. You can download this audiobook or another of your choice for free at audible.com slash ASAP. And with a subscription, you get one free book a month. Special thanks to Audible for making these videos possible. And subscribe for more weekly science videos.